Hey, good morning. Welcome back to Central Ontario. About a year, year and a bit ago, on my number eight video, I did a uh, little overview of the solar system with the backup generator on my cabin. And surprisingly, I didn't hear much out of it, but over the last month or so, I've had a lot of people out of nowhere starting to watch that video, asking me a bunch of questions specifically about the backup generator. And there was one challenge that I have with these Generac units, and I just happened to discuss that with one of the subscribers about a week ago. And sure enough, the challenge just happened to me again yesterday. So I thought I'd take a little time, show you what it is, stick around, grab a coffee, and let's see what's inside. Cheers. Okay, so sure enough, it is exactly what the issue's been for about 10 years now. Just a little bit of background. This is the second Generac standby generator I've owned in the last 10 years. The first unit I had was a 6KW unit. This one's a 16KW unit. Works generally okay overall, but here's a bit of a challenge that comes with both of these models and possibly other models. Something that you have to be mindful of, and this is exactly what's happened to me again. Let's take a look inside. So as you can probably see above me, there's oil all over the inside of this cabinet. And here's what happens. And it only happens in really severely cold winters. Right here is your air filter cabinet. And within this air filter cabinet, you're going to see in a minute, there's a reservoir underneath. Because what happens when it's really cold outside is, you know, warm air hits cold air, condenses, creates water. Water builds up in the cabinet and ends up blocking the exhaust port from the engine. When the exhaust port gets blocked with ice, engine has nowhere to release pressure and it eventually builds up so much that it blows out the dipstick and shoots the oil out all over the inside of the cabinet if you don't regularly clean that water or that ice out of the bottom of this air filter cabinet. Let's take a look. There we have it exactly the problem. So I'll try to zoom you in above me, but here's what we're, what's happening. Here's the air filter cabinet. You'll see that it's got a deep reservoir on the bottom and there's your big block of ice. That's, and this is where your condensation builds up. After that, you'll see this is your exhaust port and you'll see the ice has brought itself all the way back in and it's frozen right down into that pipe, blocks the engine's ability to exhaust. And so when the pressure builds up, shoots out your dipstick, and it fills up the cabinet with oil. The one good thing about these units is they have an automatic alarm on low oil. So once the engine gets low, it immediately shuts the engine off and does not allow the solar system to start it again. So what we're going to do, we're going to pick this ice out, clean it out very carefully to get it out of the port. Going to take some spray nine, spend a little time cleaning up all the oil and clean up the cabinet again. And then we're going to refill the unit with oil, leave it for a few minutes, and we're going to try to fire it up and hopefully there's no damage and it should be able to run okay again. There's what was frozen into the exhaust port.
Okay, she's all cleaned up, full oil, cleaned all the ice and the water out of the air filter compartment, and we're ready to give her a try here and see if she's gonna run okay. First thing you gotta do is clear your error code, by the way, or it won't start. Okay, she looks like she started up no problem. She's running fine, it's not making any noise, so I think we're in pretty good shape, but I'll keep an eye on it. A lot of oil, that's still a little bit of oil around the engine, so it's gonna burn off. Uh, one thing that I would recommend if you do have one of these is if this happens to you, make sure you clean out the inside of the cabinet really, really well, because that'll allow you to check later in case there are leaks. You may have a gasket leak, or if it happens again, you'll be able to see if there's oil leaking anywhere. Okay, yeah, that's a wrap. I hope it was helpful, especially for the folks that are looking for backup generators or standby generators. Little tip, uh, as I said, I'm no expert on generators. Generac brand is pretty good overall. I'm not unhappy with the unit, but in the wintertime when the power goes out, whether you're utility fed or not, it's important that you make sure every time this thing is run that you go out, check the oil, make sure you open that air filter compartment, clean out the ice or the water out of it before it has a chance to freeze back into the exhaust port again. Thanks for sticking around, I hope it was enjoyable. If you love the channel, please click subscribe, hit that like button, and if you wanna know when I'm posting videos, just click the little bell. Have a wonderful week with your families, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.